Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I have some interesting news regarding Pixelmator Pro. With the latest release, you're now able to edit video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get started editing video in Pixelmator Pro. Now I do want to say at the top that this isn't really a full-blown video editing app like DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or Premiere Pro. But if you're one of those folks that find those applications a little bit too difficult to use, or maybe you can't justify the cost for Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, then Pixelmator Pro might be the way to go. Now, unfortunately, I'm not an affiliate for them, so I don't have a promo code or, di code or discount code, but they do currently have it on sale. And in the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website and you could check it out. We're going to be working on this video. It is just a simple video of me walking down a path. I was testing out a DJI pocket camera and you could see that I'm just walking along the path. So it's nothing special. It was shot in log. So you could see it's very flat. It needs to be color graded. And you're going to see that Pixelmator Pro will do a great job doing uh, color grading this image. So we're going to take it and we're going to open it up into Pixelmator Pro. And I'm going to fit it to screen on my Mac, just hitting Command-0, fits it right to screen. And when you open a video up into Pixelmator Pro, you'll have some video controls at the bottom. You could turn the audio on and off. You could hit play right here. Also next to this, you could open this up and you have a little scrubber here so you could scrub along the video. You also could trim the video, similar to the way you do with an iPhone, I'm sure that other phones are similar. You could trim the video with these handles on either side, the beginning and end of the video, if you want to. And you have those controls there. But I mentioned you could do your color grading here. You also could crop this. You also could do things with layers, like add text to it. And in future videos, I'll cover all that. But right now, I just want to show you just some basic color grading of the video. First of all, you can have the video running while you're doing this. And there's presets up here. So let's look at some presets. Let's hit play and let's go to, I don't know, let's go to classic films and I'll just click through some presets. And you can see the different looks we're getting with the presets. Uh, we'll go down to cinematic, click through those and so on. Now I'll go down one more. Let's go to landscape. So these are just regular presets that you would put on images. You could put them on the video as well. Now I'll stop it and I'm going to reset it. Now, if you don't want to use a preset, you can, of course, just come in and edit it as you would a normal image. And you can see all the, um, the controls are over here on the right-hand side. And I'll just do a quick edit to this, and I'm going to have it playing while I do it. I'm going to bring highlights down. I'm going to open up shadows. I'm going to add some contrast. I'm going to increase the black point. I'm going to go to the hue saturation section. I'm going to add some hue or some saturation. I'm sorry. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the scrubber here and I'm going to put it right there for now that and let it stop so I could see the foliage because I don't want to oversaturate it. And so I'll have it right about there. Let's go to selective color. I'm going to go to yellow and I'm going to make the yellows brighter. And I'm going to go to green and I'm going to make the greens a little darker, something like that. I'm going to jump back up here to brightness and we'll increase the brightness just a touch. Or do I want to bring that down? Let's bring down brightness. A little. Yeah, that looks a little better. And I could jump down to, I don't want to do with the channel mixer or anything like that. I could turn that right off. Those got turned on by some of those um, presets I was using. So that's that. I think we'll go down to sharpen. Turn that on. You can see right away it got sharper. There's before. And there, where is it? Is after. So it got sharper right away. and Maybe a little too sharp, so we'll back it off a little bit. And do I want to add a vignette? Yeah, why not? Let's add a vignette, but not that big of it. Just a little vignette. Something like that. Now we could hit play. Now you can see it looks a lot different and it's super easy, wasn't it? I mean, I did that in seconds without really even thinking. And I mentioned this is just an introduction to the video ed editing capabilities uh, within Pixelmator Pro. And in a future video, I definitely will uh, get into the different layers. You could add 
numerous layers. You have full blend mode capabilities with the layers. You could add text uh, to the image. You could do a lot of different things, um, you know, to the image with the different layers. And I'll cover that all in future videos. But I wanted to give you a quick introduction uh, to it. You can see it looks pretty good. Now, when I come over here and the light changes, it might not look as good. And it doesn't, but you get an idea. I was, uh, as I mentioned, I had a DJI pocket. And I actually had a Fiutech pocket. They almost look identical. And I was checking them next to each other. And I was actually holding one in my left hand and holding the other in my right hand and just testing them. And I was going to do a video comparing the two, but they were really identical. They worked identically to one another. They almost looked identical to one another. So I never did the video because I thought it was a waste of time. So, um, so let's say I want to like trim out that back part. I could just trim it from here and then hit play. So, oh, and if you're done, when, when you're done, you could export it as a video. Go up here to the quick export button right there and you want to export it as an MP4, right? And give it a name. I'm going to call it My Walk. And I'm going to export it to the desktop. You could roll this open and put it in a different folder in a different uh, hard drive or whatever if you need to, but we'll just export it uh, to the desktop. So that's really very quickly how you could use Pixelmator Pro to edit a video. And I think it's pretty cool. I mentioned you could crop too. Uh, so if you needed to crop your video, you could do it and you could have the video running while you're cropping it. I don't want to crop this, but a lot of different things. I think it's kind of cool how it works. And you could see it was really smooth. It worked very uh, quickly. It uh, wasn't laggy. Um, this is a 4K video. So it worked pretty well. So that's it. That is an introduction to editing videos in Pixelmator Pro. More to come in future videos. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.